we move to next question. A question is how many three digit numbers are divisible by 7? Now, we think from where these three digit numbers started. Three digit numbers started from 100 and ends up 101, 2999. Out of these three digit numbers, we will choose the numbers which are divisible by 7 only. Now, how we choose that? Look, divide 100 by 7. 7 ones are 7, 30. Now, 7 fives are 35. Look, I took a bigger number, 35, not a smaller number. Because then it will give me number less than 100. I am choosing 3 digit number less than 100. We know that there are series of, there is a series of 2 digit numbers. Okay, so 5. That means I need to add 5. 105 is the very first number which is divisible by 7. So, 105, then add 7, you will get 112, then add 7, 119. So, I got a series which is divisible by 7. Now, where this series ends? So, let us take 999 divided by 7. I am searching the number, very last 3 digit number which is divisible by 7. 7 ones are 7, 29, 7 fours are 28, 19, again 7 twos are 14, 5 remainder. So, 999, it gives me 5 remainder. 999 minus 5. 9 minus 5, 4, 9 and 9. So, this series ends here, 994. Now, I know very well a series of 3 digit number which is divisible by 7. I know first number 805 and last number or you can say nth term of the series. Suppose there are n terms in this series and what is my requirement to find the value of n and common difference is 7. Right? You can check difference is 7. So now this is very easy question. Yes, I mean three variables you know and you know you want to find out the fourth missing variable. Actually you have highlighted the variable which is missing. A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into b. A n is equal to 994 105 plus n minus 1 into 7 on solving. You can solve, right? You get n is equal to 128. Not wasting too much time. I know that you can do calculation. Right? Now, moving to the next question. In an AP, it is being given that T4 upon T7 is equal to 2 by 3. Find out T7 by T10. You might be thinking <coughs> that a ratio is given and again a ratio is asked. Okay, no problem. If a ratio is given, then we find the relation between two variables A and B. How come? Look, <coughs> let A is the first term of AP and B is the common difference. So, P4 is A plus 3D. P7 is A plus 6D. 2 by 3. Please cross multiply. 3A plus 9D is equal to 2A plus 12D. Now, what happened? A is equal to 3D. Wonderful. We have got a relation between A and D. We can convert A in terms of D or whatever we want, right? I mean D in terms of A. T7 upon T10. This is the ratio which is asked. T7 is A plus 6D. T10 is A plus 
प्लस नाइन डी राइट ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री डी थ्री डी प्लस सिक्स डी नाइन डी एंड थ्री डी प्लस नाइन डी इज ट्वेल्व डी दिस कम्स आउट थ्री बाय फोर हेयर आर टू प्रॉब्लम नाउ वील मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नाउ टू मोर क्वेश्चन थ्री नंबर आर इन ए पी If their sum is twenty-seven and their product is six forty-eight, find the numbers. Now, I want to tell you something about taking the numbers which are in AP. Whenever you are asked to find out three numbers in AP or four numbers in AP, any four numbers or any three numbers, you always take any. Three numbers in AP. These are A, A plus D, and A minus D. Look, you fix A, move one step ahead, and move one step back. Right? A, A plus D, A minus D. Very first thing, any four numbers in AP. Right? These are a plus d, a plus three d, a minus d, and a minus three d. Don't get confused. Because of symmetry, we take this type of expression. Moving to the question, three numbers are in a p. Solution. Let Three numbers are. You suppose that three numbers are a, a plus d and a minus d, right? You are given sum is twenty seven, so a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to twenty seven. D and d cancel out. Three a is equal to twenty seven, so a is equal to nine, right, students? Their product is six forty eight. So product is a minus d into a into a plus d is equal to six forty eight. You know value of a is nine. Put the value nine. Nine minus d into nine into nine plus d is equal to six forty eight. Right? Nine sevens are nine twos are. And multiply nine minus d, nine plus d. Eighty one minus d square is equal to seventy two. So minus d square is equal to minus nine. So d square is equal to nine. So d is equal to plus minus three. Right. Now find the numbers. You have got two values of d. One is plus three, and second is minus three. So taking d is equal to plus three and a is equal to nine, you know that numbers are a a plus d a minus d numbers are a is nine twelve यानी कि nine plus three and nine minus three six. On the other hand, if we take d is equal to minus three and a is equal to nine, nine, nine minus three, nine minus minus three, so nine plus three, twelve, nine and six. The sum of three consecutive terms of an AP is twenty one. Whenever you are given sum, always take a a plus d a minus d. Why so? When we sum up three numbers. One variable will automatically be eliminated, right? So let numbers are again a a plus d a minus d, and sum is twenty one a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to twenty one d and d gets cancel out three a is equal to twenty one a is equal to seven. Right. Next, and the sum of the 
squares of these terms is 165. Understand? Sum of the squares. First, you need to make the square of these terms and then you add. Okay? On adding. So, a minus d whole square plus a square plus a plus d whole square is equal to 165. Simple. Try to understand the language of the question. Now, a square plus d square minus 2ad plus a square plus a square. Open the whole square plus 2ad is equal to 165. 2ad and 2ad. Cancel a square, a square, a square. This is 3a square and value of a is 7. And d square plus d square plus 2d square. Alright? You can do this step in two steps. Right? 7 7s are 49 and 49 3s are. 3 into 49 plus 2d square is equal to 165. 3 into 49 147 plus 2d square is equal to 165. So 2d square is equal to 165 minus 147. This is 18. d square is equal to 9. Again d is equal to plus minus 3. You have got again values of d plus 3 and minus 3. Two values. So a is equal to 7. We take 2 series then D is equal to 3 and A is equal to 7. So 7. 7 and 3, 10. And 7 minus 3, 4. When A is equal to 7, D is equal to minus 3. So D is 7, 4 and 10. These are the numbers. Okay. Now we move to the next question. The angles of a quadrilateral are in equal. Whose common difference is 10 degree? Find the angles. You might be thinking that sum is not given here. It is understood that in a quadrilateral, there are 4 angles and the sum of these 4 angles is 360 degree. If the sum of angles of a triangle is asked, then it is 180 degree. So, let us take 4 terms in AP. Angles are in AP, so there are four terms in AP. You remember what are the four terms? A plus D, A plus 3D, moving back A minus D and A minus 3D. Angles of a quadrilateral are in AP. It is understood. Let the angles up. Right. Sum is we know that. Understood thing is equal to 360 degree plus 3D and minus 3D minus D and plus D. 4A is equal to 360 degree. So, A is equal to 90 degree. Right? So, our angles are 90 plus D, 90 plus 3D. 90 minus D and 90 minus 3D. Right? Whose common difference is 10? Oh, wonderful. D is equal to 10. Given. Angles become 90 plus 10, 90 plus 30, 90 minus 10 and 90 minus 30. 60, 80, 100, and 150. That's all. Moving to next question. This is example in I Sadhivar. Divide 32 in 4 parts. So, 4 parts are A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D, and A minus 3D. Why not we convert? this. 
I missed a step you can do in your notebook which are in equity. Such that, second condition is there. Product of extremes is to product of means is 7 is to 15. Okay, let us find out A first. Then I will tell you what is the meaning of extreme and mean. Minus 3D plus 3D minus D plus D. 4A is equal to 32. 4A is equal to 8. Right? So, numbers are 8 minus D, 8 plus D, 8 plus 3D, 8 minus 3. There are 4 numbers which are in AP. Extreme numbers are the numbers which are at extreme. Extreme right and extreme left. And means numbers are which are between these two numbers. Right? So, product of extremes, product of these two extreme numbers is 2. Is 2 product of means. Is 2 means? We are going to take the ratio of the product of extremes to the product of means. That means 8 plus 3D into 8 minus 3D is 2. 8 minus D, 8 plus D. Just solve this and get the value of D. 64 minus 9D square upon... 64 minus d square is equal to 7 upon 15. Just cross multiply 15 times of 64 minus 9d square is equal to 7 times of 64 minus d square. 15 into 64 minus 15 into 9d square is equal to 7 into 64 minus 7d square. Taking d square one side and numbers on the other side, we get 128d square. I hope you can do all the calculation. 512d square is equal to 512 divided by 128. 128 fours are 512. d square is equal to 4. So, d is equal to plus minus 2. The same thing we did in the previous question. a is equal to 8. d is equal to 2. Then, I mean, I am taking two values of d plus 2 and minus 2. So, I will obtain two series. d is equal to 2. 8 minus 2, 8 plus 2, A plus 2 into 3, that means 6, and A minus 8 minus 6. 2, 6, 10, 14, A, 8, D minus 2. On putting the value, we get these two series. That's all for this exercise today. Next time, we'll find sum of n terms of AP. So, stay healthy, stay at home, do all the sums, complete the exercise, and ask any doubt. If you encounter, write in comment box. And for the <clears throat> last video, I will provide a link in the description box. So go through that. Okay, bye-bye. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe my uh, video and press the bell icon. Okay, bye-bye.